Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see how to implement the test bed for the services also. Up to now, what we have seen, we have seen how to implement the test bed, how to make use of the test bed in the components we have seen. So we have made use of this test bed in the components in the three different ways. First one is for the component applying for the testing for the class itself. That means the component which has which which we want to test only the ts file and another method is the component with its template so that means nothing but shallow integration test we have also checked the we have also tested the component with its template using the test bed and another one is last one is com not only testing the parent component we have also tested the child component using the test bed so these scenarios what we have where we have seen is so if you try to see here the post component so this is the post component.ts file and if you try to open the spec.ts file here we have tested the post component okay so created a component and we got the component instance and also in the post.component.ts for spec.ts file so we have injected we have dependency we have dependency injection injected and also the child component also we have tested using the test bed so we have come we have come almost we have completed all the scenarios in the component so test so doing this isolated unit test and doing the shallow unit test which means testing the component with its template and also the deep integration test that is nothing but testing the com not only the parent component and also with the, along with the child component we have did it so that's it so we have implemented the, the test bed all the testing scenarios now it's time for us to move on to the services the services is little bit different compared to the component what is there what is the difference the component has a ts file and also html file with a style file okay it, it, it has a template so if you want to test the component means it's better for us to test the cs class file along with its template whereas the service file doesn't have any template it is an isolated it is a only the class file so that means it is easy for us to test the service rather than the component why because it is a combination of the template and this class the component because of that one so it will have little bit of difficulty when it comes to the service it has only the class file so it is easy for us now if you try to see this logger service.ts file let me close these all the things now first i am opening this logger.service.ts file if you try to see this logger service file it doesn't have any dependencies so that means logger service is an isolated one it has doesn't have any dependencies so it does not depend on any other service if you try to see this service.spec.ts file we have created directly the logger service we got the instance of this logger service and we have implemented everything okay so now here instead of using this new thing we can also use the test bed to get the instance of this logger class so we have learned the test bed and the implementation right now it's time for us to use the test bed in the services also and now for example if you see, if you see another service calculator.service.ts file it is dependent on the another service logger service so if you try to see here in the spec file we have created a spy object for the logger service and we have injected that one using the new we have instantiated using this logger service okay we have injected into this one now here we are creating again the new and all those things right we can also use the test bed here also so to take care of those all dependency injection and all those things how we do it in the angular thing and uh, angular thing while building an application so it's the same scenario we can use we can implement here also using the test bed configuration so here also we can use this test bed to take care of those dependencies and the third thing what will come is when it come to the post.service.ts here we are having a http client okay so this is an angular library so this post service is dependent on this http client so now we haven't written any test case for this post service we'll try to write it now in this videos so now here also the test bed comes in a handy thing so it provides http client testing library uh, angular provides so where we can use it and to implement this http also so let's try to implement this one before using implementing the test bed in the services first let's try to see here how we can write the test bed for a service how we can implement the test bed for a service file without creating the uh, as a new like that okay let's try to create it first what i will try to do is let's try to configure the testing module using the test bed so in this before each what i will try to do is test bed dot configure okay configure testing module so this is the 
method we need to use. So as usual, how we have used it previously. Now here, what we need to do? We don't have any declarations. Why? Because this is a service. It doesn't have any components, and the service we will not implement it in the. We will not add it in the declarations. So where we need to add? We need to add it in the providers. So the providers, and we are not adding any fake service or anything. So we have. We need to implement the original service. So let's add it in the logger service. That's it. So we have added the test bed in the before each. So we have configured the test bed. Now what we need to do? We need to get the instance of this logger service. So how we can get the instance of this logger service? So here you can write something like service is equal to. So this is the service. So this service should have the instance of this logger service. So how can I get? I can use test bed. So for getting the component instance, what we have used? We have used the create component, right? So for getting the instance of a service, we should not use the create component. So we should get, we should use the inject. Okay, inject, inject. So some people in the previous prior to Angular nine, there some people will be using get. So this get is deprecated. So this one we need to use the inject. So inject of logger service. So we will need to inject the logger service. Now whenever you use this test bed dot inject of logger service, so now you will get the instance of this. logger service so previously you used to get create component like that you need to write so there it will give you a component fixture which is the combination of the component instance and also the wrapper for the debug elements but here you will get directly the uh, the service instance now you have implemented the service instance now let's try to run it so here i am trying to run it npm test let's try to run this one it has been successfully executed let's try to see the output here So if you try to see the output, so what we have, we have written the logger service. The logger service has been the all the test cases which was written in the logger service it got executed. So that means the service. So whatever the service we have written here, okay. So we got the instance for this logger service. So this is how we will be creating the simple test bed for the service which doesn't have any dependencies. So now you need to remember here configure testing module and all those things is common, and we need to uh, we need to add the service which we want to test it in the providers, and you need to inject you need to use the inject to get the you need in order to get the service instance for the logger service. So that's it. Some people uh, what I can say is instead of implementing this before reach and all those things, some people will try to use the setup method and all those things to get the instance. I will try to show it in the next videos. So uh, I will try to show that scenario also instead of using the before each how we can get that one. So I will show you. This is about this simple test bed in order to add in the service. Hope you understood about this one. In the next video, what we will try to do is we will try to use this test bed. Okay, how to use it in the service which has a dependencies. Let's try to see it. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.